Hey guys, Kathy Reagan here with your weekly soaps roundup, and I hope you all had a great weekend as we move into fall. And you know, this week I'm looking forward to watching the circus freak show that's about to take place. And no, I'm not talking about the political debate. I'm talking about our favorite soaps. However, if the shoe fits, well, you get it. Okay, let's see what's happening. On Bold and the Beautiful, after coaxing Steffi awake, Liam discovered she was popping pills and took Kelly to protect her from her drugged out mother. Steffi ran after Liam and found him with Brooke and Hope at the Forrester Mansion and demanded the return of her daughter. They tried to make her realize she needs help, and when Ridge arrived and saw the depth of Steffi's problem, she pulled a switchblade and demanded Kelly. Well, she's really digging herself deep this time, you guys. Coming up, an intervention is staged. Well, of course it is. Where else are they going to go with this? Okay, over on Days of Our Lives, Eric said a tearful goodbye to his friends and family and left for, you guessed it, Africa for the time being. Allie returned to Salem and was furious with Sammy for going against her wishes for her son. And viewers learned Gwen was out to ruin Abigail for her own personal reasons. Now, Justin was surprised when Bonnie pulled him into a kiss and he found himself confused about his feelings for the woman who looks just like his dead wife. Well, that would be a little confusing. Coming up, Sean arrests Philip. On General Hospital, Valentin took Alexis to Neil's memorial, where Neil's brother lashed out at her and blamed her for Neil's death, sending the alcoholic straight to the bar. Meanwhile, a drunk Ned attacked Valentin for stealing his company and taking advantage of his daughter. Scott blackmailed Nicholas and Ava with the photos of them kissing Liz and Franco, but it was Franco and Liz who were behind the scheme. And the news spread that Nell's dead body had been found. Coming up, Josh and her friends prepare for homecoming which seems pretty not exciting after all the rest of that. Okay, finally on The Young and the Restless, Elena grew increasingly concerned over how Devon was handling the fact that Amanda was Hillary's twin. Now Chelsea and Adam spied on Victoria and Billy as Victoria suggested they expose Adam for attempting to kill Victor by switching out his heart medication. Now Alyssa left town suddenly not realizing Adam had sent her on a wild goose chase. Meanwhile, Nikki warned Lily that her daughter and Billy's schemes against Adam could bring the wrath of Victor down upon her company. Coming up, Nikki does damage control, which is like putting the fox in charge of the hen house, but who's counting? All right, that's it for this week. We'll see you guys next time on the Weekly Soaps Roundup.